Hello there. We are going to understand vinification today. So vinification, it is an art and science of making wine. Once grapes reaches to maximum ripeness with the help of refractometer, acid sugar balance is checked. Harvesting. Harvesting is done in the month of September or October. There are two ways: manual method by hand picking or grape scissor and mechanical harvesting. As soon as harvesting is done, it is transported to the winery for sorting, grading and weighing. De-stacking. Stems of the grapes are taken out using equipment called de-stemmer. After that it is crushed. Crushing may be done by traditional foot trotting method by bucket method in which hydraulic pressure is given by balloon or bladder press grapes are crushed by transporting water in the in flattened bladder by membrane press it is similar like bladder press but uh, the drum revolves screw press grapes are crushed using screw hydraulic impulse press grapes are crushed with a battering ram which you can see in the middle belt press a series of air inflated pads are actually onto the wire mess the belt crushes the grapes after crushing unfermented grape juice called must is received shaptalization in case of low sugar acid balance cane sugar may be added to must this process is called shaptalization named on the scientist jean antoin shaptel of france sulfuring sulfur dioxide is spread to must actually it stops future alcohol to convert in vinegar fermentation must is transferred to stainless steel vats and yeast is added saccharomyces plebsoideus remember in case of white wine skin is removed in case of rosé uh, wine skin is left for at least 24 hours and in case of red wine skin is left till fermentation for red wines temperature required is 25 to 30 degrees celsius which may take 2 to 14 weeks for white wine temperature required is 15 to 20 degrees celsius at least 3 weeks required now maturation after fermentation wine obtained is called vadi gut it is sent to cellar for maturing the remaining pulp which is called mark and wine is pressed again resulting in a dark wine called vin de presse pressed wine now it is it is wine master's uh, decision whether it should be added to the vin de gout or not if not it can be sent to make uh, brandy yes the next is racking to remove sediments or impurities wine is transferred from one barrel to another barrel called racking finning wine is clarified with following agents like activated charcoal potassium ferrocyanide egg white icing glass which is found in fish bladder and there are many other ways filtration after clarification it is filtered for large sediments next is blending to achieve the test wine may be blended from previous year's production or same year production but it is to be avoided for vintage wine bottling the bottle is treated with sulfur dioxide filled with wine and corked sent to cellar now this is done wow so we have learned a lot today i'll take my leave guys but uh, be ready for the next topic which is types of wine enjoy your day and thanks